The mood on Friday was particularly light. After all, it was Halloween night. Costumes and candy, autographs for many. Coach Crean was there with his young troops, celebrating the first annual Haunted Hall of Hoops. Come on, let's go. Let's pray. Thank you, man. That was one of the greatest things I've been a part of since college basketball, man. Just, you know, just giving back to the little kids, man. You know, you know they're so cute coming out here, the little costumes on. You know, it reminds of you, you know, when you were young and saw, you know, Ninja Turtles and, you know, Cinderella and Indiana Jones, man. It's, it's real fun, man. You know, it's for the kids, man. Yeah, hey, that was a great thing. I'm glad everybody got to come out tonight, all, especially the kids for the community. I mean, it makes, a, it makes their world just to come out and grab a piece of candy and sign in, in, in their costumes. I had a lot of fun doing it. I think it was a success. You know, I mean, when you got 88 little kids out there on Halloween night and all those families taking pictures, that's great. We'll be right back at it tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Intensity level will be a little different. After the trick-or-treating, IU participated in an intra-squad scrimmage, which was won by the Crimson team 71-52. to In total, five players scored in double figures. Georgetown transfer Jeremiah Rivers led the way with 23 points, including five from beyond the three-point arc. I was telling the whole, whole first half, I'm like, man, what you doing? And then he, he kept hitting, and he kept hitting, and then somebody, coach got mad at us, he said somebody step up and guard him, and they told me to guard him, so... Try to do a little something on him, but I mean, he's a tough guy to guard. I think running the offense better. I thought I was a little more fluid uh, today. You know, it's still a little, you know, help the skelter out there. You know, we're young, uh, but I thought it was a lot better today. But IU also looked sloppy. They struggled finishing in the paint, had their big men in foul trouble, and watched as turnovers piled up. We won't be able to, to be successful with them, you know, but, but you know, we're going to have to cause turnovers. I know that. It's just more repetition and, you know what I'm saying, us coming in focusing more and we've been doing that all week so I feel like it's a good thing that we, that we all like to learn instead of some guys instead of having slackers and stuff like that. So no one's really a slacker on the team. No one is a slacker on the team. They all like to learn. Tonight was not a night of, okay, this is, this is how we look. We did some good things. We did some average things. We did some very poor things and tomorrow morning we get back at, you know, building our team again. So all in all, just a feel-good night here at Assembly Hall as nearly 90 kids took part in the halftime parade. As for the basketball team, just another opportunity to practice in front of a live audience. They open up their exhibition season one week from tonight when Anderson comes into Assembly Hall. The regular season tips off on November 15th right here on Branch McCracken Court. At Assembly Hall, I am Ronan O'Shea for Palestra.net, the College Network.